Live at 11, correlation. This is the go home edition of SmackDown here in Montreal, Canada. What well, location to have the go home edition of SmackDown? SmackDown going all out here tonight, the final episode here of SmackDown. Before we head into Mind the Bank as tonight's main event, sees a big one. Kofi Kingston, just before he defends the WWE title against Roman Reigns at the pay per view. Hey, we'll go 1-1 against Daniel Bryan in tonight's main event. But to kick us off here now on SmackDown, it's Sin Cara and Kevin Owens, two men who are not going to be at the Money in the Bank preview. They get their chance to shine to open up the show here on SmackDown. And well, here comes the high flyer himself, Sin Cara. We talked about him briefly. Of course, over on the past episode of Raw, the latest edition of Raw, the Go Home Show of Raw, during the Rey Mysterio and Seth Rollins matchup, well, matchup those two put on the Universal Champion Seth Rollins. Well, he had a, took four curb stomps to put down the legendary Rey Mysterio, and of course, after that, pure chaos ensued between Drew McIntyre and Seth Rollins. Of course, those two meet at Money in the Bank for the Universal Championship this Sunday. Along with that, on the WWE title side of things, the SmackDown side of things, it's Kofi Kingston and Roman Reigns. And well, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Kevin Owens, the hometown hero here. As Greg Hamilton just mentioned moments ago, from Maryville, Quebec, Canada, Kevin Owens, he feels right at home here as he opens up the show. Here tonight in the Go Home Edition of Tuesday Night Smackdown. Most likely not going to be uploaded on an actual Tuesday. As he faces off against Sinkar here tonight along with that ladies and gentlemen. Not only do we have a big time main event between Kobe Kingston and Daniel Bryan. But as the show will progress we will have a little bit of a Money in the Bank preview similar to last week. Last week we had a fail four way between the men's side of things as it was Buddy Murphy, Finn Balor, Astebeck and Andrade. Well, here at night, we're going to have Baller taking on Buddy Murphy in a singles contest. Along with that, a big-time six-woman tag matchup. And the Intercontinental Champion, Jinder Mahal, he will be in action. All of that and more here now on SmackDown. Send Cargan start. Going to start hot off the gates here. Taking down Kelly on top of his feet. Send Cargan have to use his high flying ability here. Make sure that... Owens does not keep him grounded. I see that Kevin Owens went for a pin, but he decided to stop. Realizing that he's going to have to put some damage on Sin Cara just before going for a pinfall just to that as Sin Cara missed the plunger, the springboard plunger. And now Sin Cara trying to stay on Kevin Owens, but Owens not going to let that happen. Almost taking his head off right there with a dev stand clothesline. And Sin Cara, he's in trouble here. Owens with the stunner onto Sin Cara into a cover here. Can this be it? Just like that. Two and no Owens gets off. Sin Cara didn't kick out, but Kevin Owens let go. Owens letting go. Looking to take in the atmosphere here from his hometown crowd. And Kevin Owens now kicked to the gut. And I have a feeling he's looking for one last final nail in the coffin. A pop up power bomb. Now into the cover. And now that's all, folks. Wow, just like that, Kevin Owens making quick work of Sin Cara in your opening contest on SmackDown. Sin Cara was looking good all that for maybe like two seconds, maybe even less. Owens right there with the stunner. That one was actually going to put away Sin Cara. But Owens makes this matchup last a little bit longer as Owens just lets go right there. Which, of course, led to that one. That big maneuver right there, the pop-up power bomb, in the center of the ring, Sin Cara was out of it. And Kevin Owens, even though he's not going to be at the Money in the Bank pay-per-view, he picks up a big momentum booster, and this puts him a little bit higher up on the SmackDown rankings. Owens with a victory in his own hometown to open up on the first matchup here at night on SmackDown. And well, well, we're getting ready to head on over to Mustafa Ali backstage, but it seems like Kevin Owens has grabbed the mic here. And now it seems he's got something to get off his chest. Well, let's listen in on the prize fighter here.
Well, impactful words from Kevin Owens. But anyway, I'm enjoyed now. From the backstage, Jerry Mustafa Ali. And well, Ali, tonight you're given the opportunity of a lifetime as you're going to face off against the Intercontinental Champion Jinder Mahal in a non title contest. So I do have to ask, how are you feeling heading into your matchup in just a couple of moments? Well, there you have Liz Jim Mustafa Ali. He's hyped up for one one action up next after this matchup right here, as you see right now. Because up next in a couple moments, it's going to be a six woman tag team matchup. Oscar Kyrie saying they both will team up with the number contender for Smetha Women's Championship in Carmella, as they will take on Charlotte Flair, Selena Vega, and the Smetha Women's Champion Bailey. Of course, at Money in the Bank, it will be Carmella challenging Bailey. For the championship and Asuka and Kyrie, they will take on both Charlotte and Selena Vega as they represent the four women on the SmackDown side of things for the women's money in the bank ladder match. Of course, Sasha Banks won the fatal four way for the Raw side of things. And well, here at night, who's going to win the tag team side of things for the SmackDown portion of money in the bank as Charlotte Flair makes her way down to the ring? Some people will call her the favorite. To win the matchup, and to be fair, it's gonna be hard to disagree with majority of people. And to be fair, I actually like to think that she is the favorite to go on to Money Bank and win the briefcase. As now Charlotte making her way into the ring, as when we return, she and Five Arm Woman will be in tag team action when we return here on SmackDown. Listen, we're back here on SmackDown as the number one contender for the SmackDown Women's Championship, Carmella, is now in the ring. Time to the crowd, getting all of them psyched up for her and her tag team partners to be in action here in the six woman tag team contest. Of course, in tonight's main event, we have Daniel Bryan taking on the WWE Champion, Kofi Kingston, just before Kofi heads into Mind the Bank to defend the title against Roman Reigns. And of course, up next, after this matchup, Jinder Mahal, the Intercontinental Champion, is in action as he faces off against Mustafa Ali in a non title contest just a couple days before Jinder will defend the title at Money in the Bank on the kickoff show against Shinsuke Nakamura. Anyway, now, some chain grappling. Chain grapple starts here from both Charlotte Flair and Asuka, arguably two of the most talented women here on the whole SmackDown brand. Starting things off here, I see right there, Charlotte again. The Upper hand right there on Asuka. And now, oh, big time forearm. And a sharp one, well, not a nerd, but a big time drop kick taking down Asuka. And now taunting at both Kyrie and Carmella. Much well deserved for the Queen. I like to think she's the best woman or not. Both Raw and SmackDown combined as Siri to Asuka. What a kick. Knocking the Queen. Almost unconscious there, now into a German suplex. But Charlotte's still in it. Still relatively early on in the matchup, but that kick definitely did perhaps take a lot out of her. Asuka went off the ropes, go for a drop kick. Didn't work out well. But Asuka looking to stay on Charlotte. What a strike right there, but Charlotte's still on her feet. Only rocks her, but does not knock her out. And a suplex right there by Asuka. As she now has the upper hand here. On Charlotte Flair. Charlotte now off the rope she goes. Dodges the drop kick here. And Flair now using, well, planning to perhaps use her superior strength into this matchup. She is definitely the strongest woman in this matchup. As now, 
Oscar looking to take Shard into the corner. Shard not going to let that happen. Elbows to the midsection. Going to stop Oscar. And now, oh, kick right there. Oscar now looking for something. Charlotte able to maneuver out of it. And now has Oscar on the ring apron. Almost hit a Mello right there. And now through the middle rope here and the neck breaker right there. Charlotte Flair, I do like think she is the most talented woman here on SmackDown. And, well, she's going to tag out to Selena Vega. It's now Kyrie Sane also in the matchup. So, to be fair, that's why I think that Flair is actually the favorite to head into my bank and win. And it's also a little bit of bias. I know I'm trying to be an unbiased commentator, but I am kind of biased to H Styles and Charlotte Flair by this point. But, you know, that's beside the point. Anyway, Kyrie Sane, Spearing Selena Vega. Uh, for boots right there, moments to go, and Falcon Arrow right there into the cover here. Kyrie, no, Selena Vega still in this matchup. Kyrie Sane now has Selena Vega up, has her days after that Falcon Arrow as well. Important to mention as now Vega struggling in the corner, never mind, she's able to get out of it here. And now has Kyrie by the hair, and now oh, Sane. Fighting out of it. Elbows to the midsection. On to Vega. And now here we go. Frankensteiner. Down goes the business associate of Andrade. Of course, Andrade also going to be in the Money in the Bank ladder match. As he'll be in the main event. Want to see there. What a forearm. Bailey walks into the ring and immediately is welcomed via a forearm from Kyrie Sane. As Sane missed the dropkick though. And Bailey able to catch the leg shortly afterwards. Bailey's jaw again rocked from the forearm, but now she's in control. What a German suplex. Folding up Kyrie Sane upon the impact of the German suplex, and now forearm of her own here. Not as much effect as it had compared to Kyrie Sane's. As now Sane here looking for something to get sent off the ropes, though, instead. And oh, Frankensteiner uh, to Kyrie Sane, and now Bailey in front of her challenger. My the bag, she knocks out. Carmella now Asuka there and Bailey and knock her out. Bailey not gonna do anything of the sort and she saw Kyrie Sane from her peripheral vision and she's back in control. Asuka with Darren Bailey and knock her out. Bailey not gonna do anything. And now oh suplex. Well Bailey does wanna knock out Mella. Bailey does wanna get the upper hand just before Money in the Bank, but she is not there to do anything to Asuka. She knows she knows if she does it, she's gonna get her head. Either punched or kicked off. That's now Mello trying to distract the referee here after the Bailey of Bailey and now Asuka. No, no, Asuka. Carmella able to break up and oh, what a shot right there to Bailey. Bailey with the Bailey of Bailey on Kyrie Sane only led to a near fall. And now Carmella with a spine buster variation. Mello taking down the champion days before they collide at Money in the Bank. Kyrie Sane that has now finally come to her senses. Bailey is knocked out after what Mello did to her a couple seconds ago. Well, that's what she gets for taunting her and knocking her off the ring apron. As now, Kyrie Sane looking to take control here. Another Falcon Arrow. This time, it's not hooked the leg immediately afterwards. And it's Kyrie Sane who now has taken control. And this matchup, what a back fist. Spin back fist, and Bailey's been knocked out cold. Kyrie Sane now to the high red district. She look, she's looking at it here. Insane elbow. And it connects Donna Bailey in the center of the ring here. Kyrie, has she just won the team? No, she has not. Bailey kicking out immediately. Before the count of one. Before the count of one. Bailey kicks out. And oh, Kyrie Sane drops it to the back for Bailey's troubles. And Kyrie was looking for a spear, but Bailey able to jump over it. Bailey jumped over the spear. And what a form, but Kyrie. And meaning back to her fear, she's on the outside here. And now German suplex on the outside, the very thin layer of padding. Very tiny layer of paddings, mostly for the aesthetic purpose and not ready to protect the competitors. From the concrete floor, Baron beneath it, what a drop kick right there by Bailey. And Kyrie Sane just falls, crumbles upon the impact across the ring apron as well. She gets hit on her chest and then her back. And now Dragon Screw Leg Whip. Taking down Bailey on the outside. Kyrie Sane getting back inside the ring now. 
And they should have Kyrie Sanders in control as this tag team matchup continues. We're back live here on SmackDown. So during the commercial break, Bailey will Bailey obey to her challenger at Money in the Bank onto Carmella. But Mella was able to kick out at one, getting out of Bailey's best maneuver. Can that be a preview of what's to happen at Money in the Bank? As we are now back live here. Now look at this Charlotte Flair. Here we go. Natural selection onto Mella. Mella has now been hit with two finishing maneuvers. First by Bailey dur during the break, and now by Flair. And now Charlotte Flair, Ton and Mella just before going to, for the pinfall here. Coming from the mistake, Asuka's right there anyway, and Asuka gonna break it up immediately. Selena Vega wasn't able to get there in time to stop Asuka from doing so. That's now Carmella now able to reverse Charlotte. Mella, she's now survived two finishing maneuvers here. Two big time maneuvers from both Bailey and Charlotte Flair. And now she's talking to the crowd, pandering to the crowd here. Now Charlotte Smart Ass, is she gonna let Charlotte make the tag to Vega? Vega the relatively more. Fresher competitor into this matchup, and well, Mella's gonna let it happen here. And now Selena Vega, oh, what a strike right there. That one rocked Mella. But now Mella coming back to her senses here, looking for something, misses it. And now Selena Vega gonna send Carmella into the corner. Imagine what a big, well, what a big momentum booster for Selena Vega it will be if she is to pin Carmella, but I don't think that's gonna happen here because Mella is probably gonna pin her. What a super kick, rocking her jaw, and Carmella, no! Bailey breaking it up just in time. That was getting close. It was at like 2.8. 2.7 or 2.8. Selena Vega was out of it. Bailey making the save just in time. Vega was not going to kick out. Vega was not going to kick out. Carmella almost had this match won for her team. But Bailey going to spoil it for Carmella, Asuka, and Kyrie Sane. And now Vega. Taunt and Mella as Mella now makes a tag to Asuka. I don't think you want I don't think you want to taunt Asuka, but no. Vega able to catch Asuka as a matter of fact. And I was trying to go through with it, do something else afterwards, but I don't think it's gonna really work out. She's able to actually block Asuka, so maybe Selena Vega has Asuka potentially scattered or not, because into a cover here. Can this one be it? No, only one. Vega's still in this matchup. That's super kick, I like to think. Definitely almost knocked her out unconscious because she wasn't going to kick out. It's now Asuka who will kick to the midsection. And now, oh, the hip attack onto Selena Vega. Asuka now has Vega right where she wants her. Looking for something, though. But Asuka is going to get reversed. And now Vega going to send Asuka to the corner. Asuka with an elbow to the cheekbone of Vega. Selena Vega now going to try again here. And Asuka once again is going to reverse. And now, oh. Kicking combination here. Oh my god. And another one this time around to the back four. Kicks. Oh, uh, which the different parts of the body. Asuka here. On a roll. Of course, while well, Charlotte is definitely the favorite to win for the women's side of things. Well, at least on the SmackDown side for the women's mind make that match. Some people would say Ron Rousey is the favorite for the Raw side of things. But here's the thing though Sasha Banks won the fatal four way. So if anything, she has the most momentum heading into that matchup. Oh my god, what a strike. Selena Vega knocked her out called Asuka. Gonna damage the pretty face of Vega. That's not a good thing. As now. And Vega. Good answer back. Well, forearm. And oh, club and blow across the back. That one actually rocked Asuka. Not bad. And now Selena Vega here. Elevated DDT. We saw that a couple times in the Battle Royal. To determine the number one contender. For Bailey's SmackDown Women's Championship, the final three was in fact Selena Vega, Charlotte, and Carmella. And we all know who won that one. It was Mella. That's now Asuka against San Vega into the opposing corner here. Bad position for Selena Vega to be in. As Asuka can try to send her back in. Vega trying to fight out of it here. And Asuka not going to let it happen. Make this fixed attack to Kyrie Sane. And now double team maneuver here on Selena Vega. Oh! Back elbows, both of which taking down Selena Vega in the opposing sides of Vega's shoulders. That's not Vega and Kyrie Sane. They now 
Face off against Jordan's confrontation once more. What a big boot moments ago by Vega. Taking down Kyrie Sane. And Kyrie, she's knocked out after that one. And Vega, she's hit, she's getting an idea here. Looking to scale the higher district. She was against it. She was staring at the ropes. Thinking if she had enough time to do it or not. She does. And she's going to get a leg drop out of it. In the center of the ring. Onto Kyrie Sane. Now, maybe going to shoot the half here. Can this be it? Two. And no. Kyrie Sane able to kick out just before Oscar's able to break it up. And Bailey able to get a nice shot in on Asuka. After the kick out. And no. Oh. In the corner, just a shoulder barrage onto the lower back area of Selena Vega by Kyrie Sane. And now, oh, this time to the abdomen and a drop kick across the face. Careful with Vega's face. And now, Vega, she's all shorts of this combobulated. She doesn't even know where she's at. And a back fist. Oh my god, okay. We get it, we get it, we get it. Strong style, all that good stuff, but like, try to be careful more of the face. And now, well, Kyrie saying after just complete this man and Selena Vega here, I'm pretty sure she's gonna try to end it. Insane elbow onto Vega, into a cover. Okay, just, just, just end it here. Just end it. It's two, and Charlotte Flair breaks it up once again. Mella was trying to attack Flair beforehand, but wasn't able to. This is like the third time this matchup Selena Vega has been saved. That's now Carmella striking Bailey. And now strikes down Charlotte. Carmella has gotten sick and tired of both Bailey and Charlotte Slate just saving Selena Vega in this matchup. They saved her like three different times here when she wasn't gonna kick out. And now Vega off the rope. She goes and a fight at Steiner. Spike and Kyrie saying on her dome piece across the map. Vega gonna pin her here. This one could actually be it here. Oh, no, no, never mind. Asuka right there. I have a fun feeling if Asuka or Mella wasn't going to attempt to break it up. Maybe, just maybe, Vega had this matchup done. And now going to go for a cover again. This time on the ropes here. Referee doesn't notice, but Mella, she's right there. And she's just going to stop it. Selena Vega trying anything in her arsenal to pull up a victory for her team, but to no avail. It's now going to send Sarah. Kyrie Sane into the corner here. And now tagging in the SmackDown Women's Champion, Bailey. Off the ropes goes Kyrie. That's now double team clothesline right there by both Bailey and Selena Vega. And Bailey staring down Asuka. Once again, I do not think she's going to ever attempt to cheap shot Asuka. She knows that if she does, she is going to lose her head via a punch or a kick of any sort. That's now Carmella inside the ring. She was looking for a close line immediately off the gates. These two are going to meet at Money in the Bank for a SmackDown Women's Championship. And this right here is a little bit of a preview in the six-woman tag team contest. This is on your second matchup here on SmackDown. Still three more matches to go after this one. Definitely going to be one hell of a night in the go-home edition of SmackDown here in Montreal, Canada. That's now Mella here. Has Bailey on the outside. What is she looking for here? Oh no, powerbomb possession here on the announce table perhaps, and this is why I'm so happy I have my own booth box. I legit have a whole upper deck all to myself. A whole one-man booth. Yes, does it get lonely here occasionally? Yeah, pretty much. But hey, at least I'm safer than Cole, Byron Saxon, and Corey Grace. I'm safer than dumb when it comes to the fact that I don't have an announce table. I'm in the upper deck. Wrestlers are not going to fight. All the way into the upper deck on a booth just for to put their opponent through a table. So I am so happy with that. Anyway, now Mella here looking at this matchup here against Shard to call the silence onto Shard Flair, but she doesn't have fully locked in. As Shard gonna maneuver out of it, Vega was gonna break it up, but Charlotte would get able to maneuver out of it before Vega could even get there. As Shard will spear now, just cutting Carmella in half. And now Charlotte Flair, compared to Bailey, she's not scared to cheap shot Asuka. And she's also not scared to cheap shot Kyrie Sane. And which she's going to do so as well across the jaw. Punch square across the jaw. As now, Carmella here in a world of trouble. Charlotte looking for a second natural selection in this matchup. Takes down Carmella. Well, I'm pretty sure that's it. That has, that has to be it. Who's going to kick out two of them? Answer, no one. I'm pretty sure that right there is Archie Rowe. No, it's not. 
Carmelo kicks out at one. Two natural selections, and Mela is still in this matchup. She kicked out at one. She kicked out of one from the Bailey Belly, and on the second one, okay, Charlotte, careful with the chest right there. Gonna pop something. Um, but anyway, from the chop, just rocking Mela for a short period of time. By the way, Mela's kicked out of one from the Bailey Belly, and the second natural selection, and super kick across the face of Charlotte Flair. Gonna break something. But anyway, I'm pretty sure she has this in back. It's two and Bailey no. Bailey has been the, a thorn in the side of Carmella throughout this whole damn matchup. Bailey's been a thorn in the side of everyone in this matchup, but preferably Carmella. Another opportunity, another super kick where Melos can put away the competition. As now Bailey distracts Carmella and now electric chair. A straight jacket electric chair. And Melos all tangled up in Charlotte Flair. Takes advantage of the distraction. Kyrie Sane strikes the referee after he makes the three count. Desperation at the end right there shown from Kyrie Sane. And Carmella. From the distraction from Bailey. She gets distracted. Bailey breaking up a lot of pinfall attempts. Every time Mella was gonna pull away a person with super kick. First Lena Vega, then Charlotte. Mella had them in the bag, and then Bailey comes out nowhere to break it up. In the last second, near the 2.8, 2.7 range. Carmella gets distracted by Bailey. Charlotte Flair kicked up behind her. An elect straight jacket electric chair had her all tangled up with one hell of a view for, of both competitors. You know what? But anyway, Charlotte Flair, Bailey, and Selena Vega are victorious in this six-woman tag team matchup.